Welcome to this session of Go Ask Debbie, how to filter lists using Microsoft Excel. Once you have a list in place, the easiest and fastest way to filter a list is to use the data menu. Simply click on data, then choose filter on the menu, and then click auto filter on the sub menu. Once auto filter is in place, notice each column has a drop down arrow next to the column header. To filter a column based on specific data, simply click on the drop down arrow and choose the data you would like to filter by. Notice when I chose 91 from the drop down list, now the only data in my list that appears is anything that has the value of 91. To filter based on a separate value, click on the drop down arrow once again and choose a different value. The results will appear immediately. Notice at the top of the filter list drop down, you have options for the top 10 or custom, sort ascending or sort descending. Choose the top 10 and see our results. Depending on the version of Excel you have, the top 10 auto filter window will appear. Simply click the OK button. Once you have filtered a column, notice the drop down arrow is now blue. With our current filter, now click on the drop down arrow and choose Sort Ascending. With the list pre filtered, this will give us our criteria list and now filtered in order from lowest to the highest. Now let's see how to use the custom filter. To customize your filter, click on the drop down arrow and choose custom and notice the custom auto filter window appears. The custom auto filter feature gives you many options. On the drop down arrow in the top left corner, you have many options such as greater than, greater than or equal to, and more. In this option, we would like to see all results greater than or equal to 101. Simply click on the right drop down arrow and choose 101. The custom auto filter window allows you to have multiple criteria. In this example, we will just hit the OK button. To remove a filter, simply click on the drop down arrow and choose All to display all data in the column. To remove your auto filter, simply go back to the data menu, choose Filter, and click on Auto Filter once again. Notice the auto filter drop down arrows are now gone. Thank you for taking this session of Go Ask Debbie. I hope you've learned a lot in how to filter lists. Next time, we'll use more advanced filter options.